All right, guys and gals, we got another sol solo Fortnite gameplay here for you. I went ahead and just started speeding this up from the very beginning because I really don't see anybody for a while, um, and we just go through the uh, the mines, looting stuff up. Uh, go ahead and hit up some chests, all that good stuff. Um, second chest right there we found. All right, slow it down here because we are about to hear somebody. Right there, they're down below us. Down there somewhere. Oh, just hear them pick something up, drop something, pop something. Uh, oh, we got eyes on them now. Gonna go ahead and see if we can get an angle. Uh, all right. So that first shot's hit the hit the rock, but we hit him with two three round bursts. He's hurt pretty good. Um, we're gonna speed it up here in a second because I don't know where. I think he's got to come out that way. I don't know salty or not salty. Uh, I don't know the uh, the mines that well, so I'm thinking he's got to come out that way. He apparently doesn't. I end up making my way over here. He eventually does come out this green door here in just a second, and so I just sped it up so you didn't have to see our standoff of him staying back there and me standing up there, and we both did absolutely nothing. So. Alright, so now he's finally just started to come out. He doesn't know I'm back here. He turns around. Pop him in the back. Pop him in the head with the pump. Get that sweet, sweet kill. So, so basically just looting this thing up. We're gonna, I mean, you can see we got tons of healables. We got eight, eight minis, med kit, uh, slurp. We have a gray burst AR, which is garbage. A green pump, which is good. Um, so, we end up just looting this thing up. And we end up leaving with some good stuff, minus one good long-range weapon. So there was our third chest we just popped. Uh, we see some more chests. There's our fourth chest. Pick up two big shields instead of the slurp. Get another med kit. Five chests we popped in the uh, in the mines. Took a little bit of damage from the storm. Um, I'm sitting in this bush right now because I'm just trying to get top 25. That's the whole point of me playing in this game was just to do the challenge of a top 25 solo. So I'm sitting in this bush just waiting. Uh, so basically top 25 and then we'll play a little bit more normal uh, from here on out but we push up push up here to the spot uh, we're in the circle waiting for it to come in I uh, there was some action up there in that little baby fort so there's somebody over there on that side um, I'm pretty sure that there's this there's a gap behind me where I'm just I'm sure somebody's gonna end up coming up that way and so that's why I haven't pushed up further um, and as you see, it ends up being correct because here they come here in just a second. Um, 16 people left, only one kill to our name. Like I said, um, see if you could hear them. Oh, there's the footsteps. They heard me switch to my gun. They switched to their shotgun. And we have ourselves a little, a little shotgun battle, which the pump wins over the blue tack. Although she did miss two shots, and I hit both my shots. So, all right. So I should have popped my mini shield and then the big shield to get to a hundred. Probably should have popped the med kit and picked up those other med, or at least one other med kit, because I've already got three, uh, and I'd have been a hundred, a hundred. But I didn't. I wasn't that worried about it. So, uh, we'll do regular speed from here on out because there's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more worthwhile gameplay to watch. Uh, so you can hear them over there shooting on top of that hill. That's kind of why we hung back in the first place, because um, we knew there were still some people up there and they had the high ground. So, plus it's good to see where the circle goes. So we saw it come over here, pushed up to the right. Let them dudes up there just do their fighting, do their thing. Um, pushing up on the right, just making sure we don't have anybody storm riding on the right side. It's kind of why I veered around the circle instead of just getting in, just getting in and building. So I think we're pretty safe at this point from behind us, from where the storm's coming in. So we go ahead and build a little fort. We're gonna go up a, a second level, get a little more height. All right. And then from here, we're just gonna kind of gonna see what what we can see. Just 
kind of glancing back towards the storm again, making sure nobody's storm riding. Um, circle's getting smaller at this point, so you're talking about some significant damage. People are probably not storm riding in the storm, actually. So clear that we're uh, that we're fighting. So just kind of keeping our eye out. They're still over there. They're still shooting each other, I'm getting some downs or getting some eliminations. All right. So we know somebody's over here. It's the only kind of, it's really all we know is maybe somebody in that big fort that's behind that tree there. All right. So got about a minute 30 before the storm comes in. So plenty of time to, to make it over there. Oh, I guess I got left that fort and he's running along the ridge there. He came along the back side, so I figure we'll go ahead and take some pot shots at him. We hit him with a couple. Uh, a couple shielded shots, so we at least peeled some shield away, if nothing else. Um, and then he he built, built for a little safety. So I decided, well, we're just gonna go up a, another layer since he's building over there. Go ahead and pop a fire fire pit here just to to get the rest of our health up without having to. Plus I had plus I had one <laughs> without having to use a med kit, so. Uh, my brother just uh, jumped on here. You can hear him, the solo. and uh, so there'll be a little bit of audio from that party chat um, in the background noise. So not a lot though. Uh, guy tried to attack us, try to shoot our base. He stopped, and so we went ahead and put down a jump pad here. We're gonna fly over to him uh, here in. About 20 seconds once the storm starts coming in. Let's see if we can't do a little surprise, a sneak attack on him. I mean, we've got to, he, he's got a little bit uh, better spot or a little bit of time before, but I don't think he's really going to want to wait the whole way because then that puts him in the danger of the storm. So. We do it right as the storm's coming in. It looks like he's already punched out, so we just kind of bypass his little fort and just keep going as far as we can to get closer to the circle. Because um, it looked like he punched out, and it turns out that he did, and he ran this way, and we see him right there, riding the edge of the storm. But he ran into somebody, and so now we're going to pop up on the dude that he ran into and miss a bunch of shots. Wing him with one bullet, and he goes down, so he was already super hurt. The AR sometimes is just, the, the accuracy is, is weird. Sometimes it's, it's spot on, and then sometimes like it's like you're shooting straight through people. So that was one of those times where it's like you're shooting straight through people. And granted, they weren't all on target, but those ones in the beginning certainly were, and didn't get any hits. So took about 15 bullets from not very far away to actually... Take him down. So, excuse me, yawning. All right, so we're building a little bit of an extended fort here. Built some walls. Kind of give us a, a lot of different angles to look. We're not in the fort. Somebody popped an airdrop to the north, we heard. Um, so we know somebody's over there. But we don't really know where anybody else is. So, oh, there we go. We see this guy to the north now. He's starting to build. He's on this side, so we're going to go ahead and pop him with some shots. Hit him a couple times for shield. And then one for for health. So, see the guy building to the northwest there as well. We know he's over there now. He's pushing up the guy. We're shooting at, pushing up to the guy in the northwest. And they're going to do whatever they do. Uh, so we know we're three of the five. We've got me, him, and him. So we know where three of the five are. Don't know where these other two guys are. <sighs> At all. So. We've got about ten seconds till the storm comes in. We're going to have to move up again a little bit. Um, oh. He just took out that guy with a rocket. So down to four. Got three kills, got blue AR, green pump, still have a bunch of minis, one big shield, two med kits. 
Uh, got an airdrop coming in, which is good for us because we're right next to it now. So we're going to build around it. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody is taking shots at us from behind in that shack. Did not know he was there. And he hit us for two headshots for 140, 70 a pop. So our health's about half now. But we got plenty of mini shields, big shield, med kit. So we're just going to enclose ourselves and get all our stuff up. You can hear rockets flying from out there. And that guy that was northwest towards that tower, uh, obviously somebody must have pushed up from the north, kind of to where that guy was that we were attacking earlier. And he has drawn the ire of the dude at the northwest on the tower again. And so he's throwing rockets at him and, and whatnot. So I'm not sure he knows we're here, honestly. Um, so we're going to let those two guys fight it out, I think. Uh, airdrop just popped down. We've got some cover from the the, the uh, shack from that little wall we built earlier. Uh, that defensive wall build. And so we're going to go ahead and grab what's in the airdrop and get back in our little fort. With nobody the wiser. Although they heard it, but they're probably all distracted. So, now we have... Ooh, excuse me. Now we have a legendary rocket launcher. This guy ran behind us and I was just about to pop out the door there and smoke him with a rocket, but he built on top of me. So I said, you know what, that's fine. You build on top of me and you draw all the fire while nobody is worried about me in the fort because they're going to think it's you. So a storm's going to come here, come in in about another 10 seconds or so. Still four people left. We know pretty much where all four are. One kind of out by me, one in the shack, one on the tower northwest. Um, storm's coming in. I'm like, okay, let's screw this. Let's just get out here and do, do something. And as I'm coming out, tower guy rockets the guy that ran over our base who started building a new base over by the shack. And so we're going to go ahead and shoot some rockets at the tower because we know he's up there. And we know he's got rockets. So threw a bunch of rockets we got to move up to get in the circle he's going to be building because he's scared and then we get a decent spot where this other guy had built throw some rockets he throws a rocket at us we're throwing rockets at him gonna bounce this one off that wall and it's in the storm he's gonna do a bunch of damage and then we're gonna hit this one and he's gonna be trying to run perfect and we know this guy's by the shack and right as we start to look he starts to come out from the storm and he's in a bad way right here. There ain't nothing he can do at this point. Except get rocketed for that victory royale. So a lot of action there at the end. A lot of rockets throwing back and forth. Five kills to our name for the win.